This is Unleash the Power of Age. I am Jennifer Lee Levitz, and we have a special guest today who is going to um, demonstrate how to use FaceTime for iPhone, iPad. And this is Frank Bellini. Hi, Frank. How are you? I'm okay today. How Good. are you? Glad, glad to be with you. Thanks. Oh, well, thank you so much for doing this for us. It's very important that in these times where we can't be together, we can at least see each other's faces. Absolutely. This will be a lot of fun once you get this app up and running. All right. Well, I'm going to turn it over to you. And I, if I have any um, questions, I will break in. Okay, good. In a moment, I'm going to share with you some slides. But to begin with, uh, for those who don't know what FaceTime is, uh, it's an app, which is short for an application, otherwise known as a computer program. So pretty simple thing. Okay. Uh, it makes video telephone calls. Now, it only works on Apple devices. So iPhones, iPads, iPods, uh, Apple Watches, or a Mac computer. For the purposes of this presentation, uh, we're pretty much going to just talk about how it looks on an iPhone. And it will look quite similar on an iPad. Uh, for a Mac, it's a little bit different, but the principles are the same. Okay. You don't have to take any notes because I will have a, a file for you with all the notes from this presentation. And if you have a pencil ready at the end, I will give you a link for that. Or you can email me. I have an email address for questions from this presentation. And I will email you back with that attached. Okay. And we will, we will um, show that email address. Absolutely. So, okay. So let me share my screen with you and start the slides. Great. And this is the first figure uh, in the presentation. And what it shows you is basically the FaceTime app icon as it appears on your screen on right. an iPhone or right. an iPad. If it you do like, not have... It looks sort of like a, a camera. Yes, it's a green background and it has a white uh, stylized camera, video okay. camera on it. Uh, if you do not have the app, you're going to have to download it. And that's a little bit beyond our presentation today. But if you want to email me, I'll help you do that. Thank you. The, the next slide. Uh, if you tap on that app, tap on the icon for that app, it will open a window that looks something like this. In particular, if you have made previous uh, FaceTime calls to people, their list will be in chronological order right on that window that it opens. And you'll notice up here, uh, you can toggle back and forth between your audio calls, your standard phone calls, and the video calls, which is FaceTime. Oh. If you want to call a new person, the plus sign is kind of the universal uh, method inside of Apple works to uh, add in a new um, uh, person's number or name to whatever you're trying to do. So if you tap on the plus sign, this box will open up in another window, which I will show you in a minute, and allow you to enter either a name, if the name of that person is inside your contacts list, which okay. we'll talk about a little bit later, or an email address or a phone number. Now, the person on the other end has to have an Apple-compatible device. If they don't, it's not going to work. Okay. However, um, this is what the screen looks like when you would be inputting a phone number or an email address, and there'll be a little keyboard down at the bottom here uh, to let you type it in. And when you're finished typing it in, you hit the plus sign, and the FaceTime call will automatically come onto your screen. And I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. As you fill this out, Apple will automatically fill in what it thinks you'll be typing next. So if you start typing the name Frank, all your Franks will suddenly pop up, and you may be able to just click on the one that you want. Uh, even phone numbers will automatically complete on a screen like this. So it makes it kind of fun 
and it makes it a lot easier. Okay. Now, once the call is initiated, you will see something like this. In this case, I was calling myself. <laughs> I was FaceTiming myself just for demonstration purposes. While the phone is ringing, and of course, with cell phones, it sometimes takes several rings for people to, to answer a little, a little more than we're normally used to with a regular telephone. You will see yourself on the screen. And this is what the person will see when they answer the call. However, once they answer the call, you will see the other person's face, and your face will be down in a small little inset at the lower right or the lower left, somewhere on there. Okay, so I just want to reiterate. So sure. while it's ringing, I'm going to see myself on the phone. That's correct. And once they answer, their face will come on and mine will become a little one in the corner. Yes. And they'll be seeing the same thing. You'll be, you'll be able to see both what they're seeing and yourself. Okay, great. So what you see and what they see is on the screen at the same time. Okay. Now, down at the bottom should pop up these four little icons. If it doesn't, you need to take your fingertip and sweep up from the bottom of the screen to open this little band here of icons. And they're, they're fairly useful. So it's, it's nice to know where they are and sweep them. If you don't touch them for a while, they will sink back in and out of the way so you'll get a full picture. The, the first one here, let me get them up so they have a, a name to it. Effects let you do all sorts of crazy things like make it snow on the call and put text on the screen, things like that. I'm not going to go into that now. I'll let you explore it on your own. Okay. The mute button is just like the standard mute button on any telephone. Uh, if you tap it, it will mute your voice, although you'll still be able to hear the other party's voice. And if you tap it again, it will unmute you. So if there's noise in the background or if you just don't want the other person to hear what's going on for a while, you can use the mute button. Uh, I'm going to skip over to this. This is the end. It basically hangs up the call. So when you're done, you want to tap on end. Okay. Back this to the one, mute button. Yep. I can only mute what's going on on my end. It doesn't That's mute correct. what's going on on their end. Okay. Right. Yep. Uh, the flip screen is here. Now, the, your iPhone has a, uh, a camera lens that is facing you, but you can flip it around so that the lens will show the person what's going on on the other side of your phone. And I use this, for example, I'll, I'll call up a grandkid who lives in Seattle and doesn't see snow very much. Uh, when it's snowing outside, I'll flip the camera and I hold the phone up so that he can see out the window or down the street or in the backyard with all the snow or a lightning storm or something like that. So it makes it kind of fun. So that's what flip is. And uh, you just should know that you're, it, once you flip it, you can always flip it back. That toggles uh, okay. also. Okay, great. Okay. Now, uh, there is one other way that's very handy to initiate a FaceTime call. And that is through your contacts app. The contacts app here icon is at the upper left on this desktop on my iPhone. And it will look a little bit different on different versions of the phone and different versions of the software that you may have. Uh, but it will always have this gray circle with a head and shoulders uh, kind of uh, picture on it. So if you tap on contacts, that opens up a listing, which you've probably all seen, of your contacts. And if you tap on the contact that you want to call, which I have done here, this is my niece, uh, Sandy, and um, up pops Sandy's information that I have input into my phone. Okay. You can see that I can either text message her or call her conventionally or FaceTime her, the three blue and white icons under her name. Right. There's a fourth icon that says mail her, and it really means email, uh, although it just says mail. But it's not blue and white. It's sort of grayed out. I did not put her email address in this contact. I should have. I don't know why I didn't.
but it's just as well. The point I'm going to make here is that if you have someone in your contacts list that you can FaceTime with, your phone will automatically know that that's the case, and you'll have a blue and white FaceTime icon. Wow. If you have their phone number and email address in there, but you cannot connect with them because they don't have an Apple device or they're not properly logged into a system, uh, then the FaceTime icon will be grayed out just like the email icon is grayed out here. Okay, got it. Got it? Got it. Okay, good. That is about it. Uh, awesome. If you want to take your pencil and take down this email address, I've created it just for this, and it's facetx101, so FaceTime 101, sort of, uh, at gmail.com, and I will check that every day or two and respond to you. Uh, the presentation notes, if you want to write down this URL and uh, type it into your address bar on your browser, is https colon backslash backslash tinyurl.com slash yap, Y-A-P, two A-C-R-7. And okay, and we will repeat that at the end of the presentation so people who don't have a way to write it down already can be getting that ready. Great. One other option. If you want more lessons for your cell phone, I would advise you to go to youtube.com or you may want to download the YouTube app to your phone or to your iPad. And you can type into a search box there to find videos on almost anything that you would want to do. It would be good if you include in the search the version of your iPhone. So for example, if you want to uh, investigate a, a Twitter app, uh, you should type in Twitter app for iPhone 7 or iPhone 9 or whatever type you have, and you'll have a little bit better success. You will get thousands of responses, and uh, you may want to pick the most recent one. They show the most recent one first and listen to a few YouTube videos. You'll get used to it pretty quickly. The other alternative is at Rose Baker Senior Center. Uh, we do have group classes on both computers and iPhones and iPads, as well as uh, uh, phones that are not Apple products like Samsungs and LGs, things like that. And we do group classes and we also do one-on-one -on -one training. So when we're up and running again, and people can come in and be together, um, those classes can be very helpful and uh, a lot of us, have been to the classes and that's how we're doing what we're doing already right so um frank uh that was brilliant that was really terrific i got a lot out of it i think i could go right to my phone and make a call and if not um this presentation will be shown many times and people can go and uh see the replay um, by going to 1623 on uh, Facebook or on Channel 12 or on YouTube. So 1623studiosplural.org, you'll see the um, connection for that. And um, you I'm can writing that down. look it up. So it's studios.org. A lot of people forget to put the S. Mm -hmm. And you will, you will get to the... Um, uh, you will get to the address and it will allow you to go to the YouTube connection for 1623 and that could be a nice shortcut to get to this video. Okay, great. Um, I think I'm okay. If you would like to give us back the screen, we can uh, say goodbye to each other. Or, did, did you want to see the uh, go ahead. email address one more time? Sure, there it is. Yep, there it is. So, face tx101 at gmail.com. And Frank will answer your further questions if you have any. Will do. So, if people want to ask Frank questions about what they've seen today or other things that happen, you can reach him on 
at with email on face tx 101 that's f a c e t x 101 at gmail.com and uh, frank will get back to you he's he's a very very nice man very accommodating and uh we're lucky Thank to have him at Rose Baker. Well, lucky to have him in Gloucester. So, uh, Frank, thank you very much for uh, your presentation. It was very You're entirely helpful. welcome. Anytime, Jennifer. And we'll look forward to seeing you in person at Rose Baker. Soon, I hope. I hope. That's it for today from Unleash the Power of Age, and uh, good luck. <laughs>